Some WWE fans were not happy with uh, Chad Gable losing the gauntlet match this week on Raw, uh, as it was Sami Zayn who earned the victory, and Zayn will now be the one to challenge Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia. Uh, we've mentioned here in recent videos on the channel, that seemed like the best bet, that Zayn was going to be the one. They'd built up all the promos for him over the past month or so, um, and it just seemed like all the momentum was in his direction. They'd started building up you know, some stuff for other people in recent weeks, Gable included. Um, they did the great kind of, you know, build up on Raw itself, kind of looking at everyone's, you know, kind of hyping them up for this big match, right? That's what they did. And so, yeah, it wasn't a huge surprise to see Sami Zayn win. But could it have been a little bit of surprise um, to some people to see maybe the backlash? Maybe maybe backlash too strong of a word? I don't know. I, I saw plenty of it on social media. The backlash to Chad Gable losing. Uh, was that maybe unexpected? I'm here to tell you that I don't think it was that unexpected, and I'm here to tell you that I think the Chad Gable fans are going to get exactly what they want. And no, I don't mean that in terms of Gable being added as a, another member in this match and it becoming a triple threat at WrestleMania 40. I don't think that's going to happen. Could it happen? Of course it could. It's WWE. <laughs> Things could change uh, at any time. Talking about the shoulders up off the mat and all this other stuff. They, they could find justifications to do that. But I don't think they're going to because I think they're setting this up for something bigger. And I'll explain what I'm talking about here. So if you just look at kind of how this thing played out, right? You look at the visual after Sami Zayn wins this match. He's putting his arms around Chad Gable, who you can see from this photo. Like he just completely deflated, right? He is just completely down. He looks like he has just let everyone down, right? And that's kind of the visual you get here is Sammy sort of wrapping his arms. And again, you can kind of, there was some, even people in the crowd, like you could tell, a little surprise maybe, that people thinking that they were very behind Chad Gable here. Um, and I'm going to explain in a minute why I think that was a great thing for all parties involved moving forward, including Sammy Zayn. But you kind of see, you know, just completely let down, right? Chad Gable comes up short. All right? Now, you look at the quote that he gave. So he did the backstage interview afterwards. And I know this is kind of smaller on the screen, but I'm going to read this thing because I think it's important to read the entire thing because this is going to play up, I think, the story that you're about to see unfold with Chad Gable. So, uh, you know, he's doing the backstage interview in the locker room and he's just sitting there, you know, kind of dejected again. And you can tell that uh, he has a lot on his mind. And here's what he had to say. Coming up short, you hear that all the time. It's starting to become... It's kind of the story of my career thus far, unfortunately, at least my singles career. It's disappointing. It feels defeating in a sense. And for those that have never felt something like this, it's more visceral than you can even describe. It's not coming up short. It's letting people down that depend on you in a number of ways. This meant a lot more than WrestleMania, a lot more than a championship. It was a very personal thing for me and my family and kind of the ideals I guide my life by. I don't want to get melodramatic, but it's really true. A lot of guiding forces in my life rode this and me delivering on things I say I'm going to do. That's always who I've been. This is an example of me not doing that. If you really boil it down, it kind of shatters the paradigm of who you are, or at least who you thought you are. It goes pretty deep. So that is the ultimate babyface promo if I've ever heard one, right? And how can we draw the parallels to that? Two other stories that we have seen in WWE. We have just talked about one here on the channel. If you guys watched the previous video I did, talking about why I think now we are right there in terms of Cody about to finish the story at WrestleMania 40. It had a lot to do with the words that came out of his mouth on this week's Raw in the promo segment that he did with Michael Cole in the ring. And so there were a lot of those same sort of things, talking about the pressure and letting down the family, letting down, you know, all this other stuff and sort of just coming up short like that. And I know people will make their jokes about that when it comes to Gable and all this. But when you really think about it, it's one of these things now where what has Triple H done continually? I mean, he has set up these baby face triumphs to ultimately overcome the obstacles, to stop coming up short and to ultimately de deliver. And that's why I said in the previous video, if Cody doesn't deliver this year, They've got a big problem because you know it's the second time around. You only get another shot at this. You don't get three chances, I think, in that scenario. But this one's different with Gable. And I think what you're seeing here is that because fans were so emotionally invested in this, you now come out of this to where they can set Chad Gable up for a bigger moment. And again, I think it's similar to the stuff that we've seen them do just from a booking, 
slash character development standpoint, both with Cody Rhodes. And we can even go back. I think there are similarities to the Daniel Bryan thing, right? I know that's been 10 years now. But the fan backlash, what happens there? When you get the backlash, it's like, okay, we're pissed off at WWE. We're so angry at them for not having our guy win the match and to get his big opportunity, right? But it, it works. Like, how many times does it work? Like, Cody, the story is bigger than ever now when you think about everything that they've tied in now. Even if it was not the original direction to get there, it's still bigger than ever. There are more people watching this time around. Like, there is just, there's a lot of those things where fans are more invested now in Cody's story heading into WrestleMania 40 than they were at WrestleMania 39. I didn't think they could do that, but they managed to pull it off really well. Now, go back to the Brian thing, right? Fans, they they are upset. They're unhappy. They wanted him to finally get his chance. He was he should be a champion, right? And these were two world title scenarios. I'm not saying that I think Chad Gable's next step is going to be winning the world title. I think we're still looking at the Intercontinental Championship, and we'll talk about why here in just a second. But it gets you more invested. You're pissed off. You're angry. The emotions are now added into it. And that's what great professional wrestling promoters slash bookers over the years have always said the same thing, right? It's the Jerry Jarrett quote, right? It's the personal issues draw money. This thing is becoming personal now, and it's a little bit different because a personal issue is more of kind of the the inner part, right? It's not Chad Gable versus a certain competitor. Um, it's Chad Gable essentially versus himself or, you know, versus just being able to kind of find a way to get the job done and ultimately overcome the obstacles, as we talked about with Cody. It's very, there are very similar themes here. And so the reaction that you get, I mean, if you're on Twitter, if you're on X, whatever, you saw, I mean, the, the trending, Chad Gable, like everyone just kind of weighing in on how why they thought he should have won this match because they wanted it. They wanted it so bad for this guy. He talked about his daughter, all this other stuff, like, you know, taking that 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 smile off his daughter's face. That's what Gunther did to this guy. And you wanted to see him get that revenge for his, you know, sweet little daughter. That's what you wanted. But they've made you care. And now people care more than ever about seeing Chad Gable, we're going to use the line, okay, finish his own story. Like that is what they've done here. And I think that is why Gable fans, if you're if you're angry, if you're upset, all this other stuff, he's going to get that moment. Like now I think more than ever we have to be confident in that because this isn't the old regime. And there were times with the old regime that I think you could completely doubt that it was ever going to happen. You saw all the different iterations we saw Chad Gable, Shorty G, all this complete nonsense, right? But now they are presenting Chad Gable as a more serious threat to potentially be a champion, and he came up just a little bit short in this match against Sami Zayn. And again, he could even have an out if he wanted to to use this, right? Like, again, we talked about kind of the finish itself. But... He's not going to do that because he's, you know, he's the true baby face, right? He's not going to make excuses. He's just going to look inside himself and see how he can improve and and trying to find a way. Like, he, you know, one of the quotes there was sort of changing the paradigm of how he thinks of himself, and it shatters that, right? That's the character development. That's the, that's the hero searching inside to try to find whatever he needs to ultimately find a way to make it work and to ultimately come through when it matters the most. And I think now, because these reactions are making fans care more and more and more about Chad Gable, Triple H has to be smiling at this idea that people are this into it because that's what they wanted. They wanted people to be this into it. And yes, it is kind of, you think about it, it's very ironic here because Sami Zayn is the one now on the other side of this. And remember, there were many times too with Sami Zayn where people wanted the same thing, right? There were people pushing for Sami Zayn to be the one to end Roman streak, be the one to to unseat the head of the table, um, to be the new universal champion last year in Montreal. It didn't happen. But you had that groundswell of support behind Sami Zayn, and it's almost like he's in the opposite. I'm sure, well, there's still people who wanted Sami Zayn to win, absolutely. But there were a lot of people who wanted to see Chad Gable get his moment. And I'm telling you that I think Chad Gable is going to get his moment. And here's where I think things get interesting. You see the visual as we pulled up on the screen a second ago. Like this visual right here. Sami Zayn, arms around Chad Gable. Two baby faces, you know, embracing. 
you don't really see that necessarily though, right? You see Chad Gable just sort of like, I, I don't even know where I am right now. Sammy's, you know, leaning in all this other stuff. And it's almost like the relief for Sammy and Chad Gable. It's the opposite. It's just the ultimate disappointment. And so here's the opportunity I think you have here in that the things we were talking about with Sammy Zayn before, he, he's going to go face Gunther. I'm not going to give my prediction just yet on who I think is going to win that match, but I'm going to tell you, based on this Chad Gable development, I think my answer probably has changed a little bit because I don't know that Chad, that Sami Zayn's going to defeat Gunther now at WrestleMania 40 because something else we can kind of tie in here if you want to do themes. If you did two kind of Rocky stories at WrestleMania 40, it would make sense because you're in Philadelphia, all this, but I think the one they're going with is the Cody Rhodes one. I don't know if it's the one for the Intercontinental Championship. Again, you could do both, but... One's going to feel bigger than the other, perhaps. Uh, and do you want both Roman and Gunther losing their championships at the same WrestleMania? It would signal kind of a new era, but I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen. I could see Gunther's reign continuing because people are like, well, Gunther has to drop the Intercontinental Championship so he can get to the world title. Well, I think that, I think there's a great opportunity for Drew McIntyre to be the next champion. And I don't know that Gunther facing McIntyre is going to be the next um, you know, thing on the card because I know, too, if McIntyre becomes a champion, we know eventually what they're building towards is Drew McIntyre versus CM Punk for that title. So there's a lot of different possibilities in play here. And one of the possibilities I think you can do is think about it. Sami Zayn is there in the middle of the ring as he's hearing people in the crowd. But of course, as again, he's, he's going back, seeing all the online chatter after the match about how people are just wanting Chad Gable. They wanted Gable. They didn't want Zayn. Um, again, not everyone, but there was a, a large contention who was really behind Chad Gable. If Sami Zayn comes up short against Gunther, then he's kind of doing that same sort of inner reflection and wondering, you know, it, it changes his paradigm, right? And does that change Sami Zayn's paradigm to the point to where all of a sudden we get a new Sami Zayn? We get a new heel Sami Zayn who maybe puts himself in the path of Chad Gable as he tries to continue that road back to the Intercontinental Championship. I think there's a lot of interesting pieces here that connect together. And I'm telling you, even if it's, it's not set for WrestleMania 40, I still think there is a decent possibility that the person that's going to dethrone Gunther is going to be Chad Gable. But we'll see how it plays out. You can never be too sure. And as someone pointed out in the comments, a great one on the Cody video, one of the best things about WWE right now is the unpredictability. They're doing a great job of building up so many different people and giving them these little bitty stories, whether it's through these kind of sports-based interviews, which we know they've tried to move towards, whether it's the you know entrances and all that they're doing now. Um, you know, Reminds you of an NBA game, NFL game, whatever. Um, that's how they're doing it. They're tying in the realistic aspect of this stuff. It's the realism. They're adding so much more of this, and it it's very unpredictable on what you're going to do next. And so I think it's hard to break the old habits of thinking this was the WWE's way of doing things for the longest time creatively, right? Because you just got ingrained in the way that Vince did things and all this other stuff. But times are a-changing. <laughs> and I'm telling you, just when someone loses, I don't think people should completely overreact because I think what they're doing with Chad Gable now is very intentional and I think it is very obvious that there are a lot of ways they can go with this. Do we get a, a babyface Chad Gable versus a heel Sami Zayn in the future? I think that's a possibility. Do I, like I said, do we get Chad Gable being the one to challenge Gunther because Gunther beats Sami Zayn at WrestleMania 40 and Gable gets his opportunity eventually one more time and maybe he is the guy that becomes the new Intercontinental Championship? That's absolutely on the table. There's a lot of things they can do here, but the most important part is that everything we've talked about Everything that's happened, not just on this edition of Raw with the gauntlet match outcome, the stuff that's built up to it. People are now more invested in Chad Gable, and that is the whole point. It's the emotion. They're making you care, and that, I think, is going to lead to Chad Gable fans and anybody else who wants to see this guy ultimately get his big moment. He's going to get it. It just may not be soon. It may be a little bit down the road, but I'm telling you. Chad Gable is going to get his opportunity because this just seemingly is the way Triple H likes to do things, and it's working because people are invested, and that's what you want. The personal issues draw money, but it's not just that. It's just stuff that you know relates to the realism, all that. 
they're making this personal now. You care about his story, all of this other stuff. And so, yeah, I think Chad Gable fans are getting what they want. Just may have to be a little bit patient. So there you go. There's some thoughts on uh, Chad Gable uh, and the Sami Zayn situation coming out of the gauntlet match. Let me know what you think uh, as we head towards WrestleMania 40. Um, do you think Chad Gable is going to eventually get that opportunity to win the Intercontinental Championship? Do you think Sami Zayn defeats Gunther uh, at WrestleMania 40? Let me know your thoughts. Always enjoy the conversation, guys. Um, channel's kind of taken off. Obviously, it's been some of the videos we've done on The Rock, uh, Cody, and all that, but so much fun talking wrestling with you guys. So really appreciate the feedback. Uh, and again, hit that subscribe button. Just a new channel here. Love talking professional wrestling. So appreciate you watching as always. And let me know what you think about Chad Gable's next chapter in his own story.